you. Psst, yeah, you. What are you here for? Stocks. Oh, right. No, 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 no. You're in the right place. Come on in. Come on in. I'm John Zadar. This is Tuesday. It's December 20th, and you are watching On Top and Hot, where we do have a passion about talking about stocks, especially OTC and penny stocks. But I got to tell you, doing research on OTC and penny stocks, it's a little more difficult than studying up on those major exchange stocks. Seems the information is just less, more obscure, but what if I could help? What if I can make it easier for you to get a list of stocks each day before the bell rings that have the potential of making you hundreds, even thousands of percent gains? I can do that. Matter of fact, I'm going to share some stocks with you today just like that so you have some prime examples. These are all running on what I like to call dime a dozen catalysts. These are little tiny catalysts that are out there every single day on lots of stocks and it has absolutely nothing to do with the company. It's not about what they do, who they are, or even how much money they make. Those details, they're irrelevant, just doesn't matter. So I'm going to show you stocks and lists that you're going to be able to cash in on. Now, we're going to be looking at stocks on the major exchanges as well as the OTC because any stock under five bucks is a penny stock. What exchange it's on doesn't matter. That's irrelevant as well. As long as they're under five bucks, they qualify as a penny stock. Now, I do a lot of due diligence on OTC and penny stocks. Matter of fact, all that news right there, that's from the OTC market. Six days worth. Oldest is up at the top. Newest is down here at the bottom. And that is prime news. Nothing boring. No public offerings or financials. Though that stuff's important. This is what most people are looking for. Your mergers, acquisitions, dividends, bankruptcies. The juicy stuff. So take a bite. I'm sure you're going to like it. Now, when I do my research on OTC stocks, this is the site I use, the otcmarkets.com website. It is the number one site for doing research. Well, <laughs> it's probably the number one site because I don't think there's any other site like it online. I don't. This is updated every single day for every single OTC stock, all 12,590 of them, by FINRA and the SEC. That's the information we want. That's what we're constantly looking for. So why run around the internet looking for something that's current when you can come right here? First time you find it, you know it's right. And if you don't find what you're looking for, the internet's always out there waiting for you. But start here. I guarantee you to save you a lot of time and frustration. All right, let's take a look at how we finished today on the OTC market. Oh God, please let it bump. That is not looking good at all. Going to refresh it now. A little bump, but not anything to get real happy about. Our dollar volume fell from, I think it was 1.6 billion yesterday, down to 1.4 today. Share volume fell again. We are now in the five billions. I think we were in the six yesterday. I don't know. She's staying so low, she's making no impression on me. We are in the five billions. And our trades, we're still stuck between 250 and 300,000. So the market isn't growing. It's getting slower and slower the closer we get to Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. All right, I got my stocks all lined up and ready to share with you. And I wanna show you those lists as well. Come on. So we're going to take a look at some stocks now. All of them are running on what I like to refer to as dime a dozen catalysts. These are catalysts that happen every single day but are rarely publicized. Great example, ticker DBMM, Digital Brand Media Marketing Group. She was hot today. She was running virtually all day long and had about 700 trades. Well, it takes one person to make a trade, so there could be up to 700 people there. If each person made two trades, that's at least 350 people around this stock. She finished the day just under three cents at 0 0.0275 with 120% gains. She's on the pink tier in current, and she has those two green ticks. Now, as I said, she was running on a dime a dozen catalyst, a real small one. Now, I seen her running first thing this morning, and I did my due diligence. I went and looked for news, looked for filings. I didn't see anything, so I ran over to Twitter. Nada. Well, I had a lot of things on my plate, so I just moved on. Well, sometime around lunch, I looked at her again. She was still climbing. 
So I took another stab at my due diligence. Came up empty handed, couldn't find anything. Again, I got a lot of things I'm doing, so I just brushed it off and moved on. Well, later in the day, I looked again and she was still climbing. And that's when I said, no, I missed something. There is information or you wouldn't have that many people trading this company. And then it occurred to me, the lists. I didn't check my list today. Now I do post some of them, but I didn't check them all. Let me show you what I'm talking about, folks. We're gonna come on over here to market activity. Come on down here to corporate actions. They're all here. All the lists are right here. Corporate actions, you're gonna to come to this page and this is what you're gonna see, symbol changes. No, symbol changes isn't a catalyst. I haven't seen a stock run on this yet. Come on over here to symbol changes though and hit that arrow and it's gonna open up a menu for you and you got a slide bar here so there's even more than you can see. Now what I was thinking, this either came off the expert market, which is where it's pulled off the market because they're late on filings and they don't come back on the market until they catch those filings up, or she was caveat emptor, which means their skull and crossbones, buyer beware. And again, you are pulled off the market and your shares can't be bought or sold. So the first one I came to was caveat emptor. I clicked that and boom, look at that. At the very top today, it was the only one that came off of the caveat emptor status. Now this comes up every single day, folks. You can come over here before the bell. The other list I'm gonna show you, same thing. Come over here before the bell. They're going to have stocks listed here. Now they're going to add more through the day, but at that point in time, what you see is valuable. You have a heads up on stocks that could run as soon as the bell takes off. And what we're looking for are stocks that are coming back on the market. When a stock goes off the market, that is scary because anyone invested in it is in limbo. They can't buy or sell their shares. The company has a skull and crossbones. That's scaring everybody. We have no idea what they've done to be pulled off the market. They do not tell us. It could be something minor. It could be something criminal. Going to the expert market is bad, but that's like time out. Going to the CE status, that's like going to prison. So when you see one of them come off the CE status, it's like getting out of prison. Freedom! And we throw a party for them and there are some huge runs. So this is one list you can come to, caveat emptor. Another list you're going to want to check is tier change, right above it, right there, tier change. And there were a lot of them. See the date? There are a lot of them today. Now, only half of these were here when I came here this morning, but they were important. What we're looking for are those stocks being promoted to tiers above them. We're looking for gray going to the pink. Oh, that's beautiful. Or an expert going to the pink. You grab these tickers and put them on your watch list. These are the stocks that have the potential to run. Now, I'm not saying every single one of them run, but when they do run, Oh my God, it is worth the while. So this is another list you come to in the morning, find the stocks that are graduating, coming out of the dark zone, the gray, the expert, and they're going back to pink. That is exciting. And one other one you may want to consider, though I don't know if it's going to help you actually trade, splits. Now this is aftermath. This is not telling you of stocks that are gonna be doing splits. Uh, you gotta do one by one for that. Um, this is the list after they've done the splits. Again, it's in chronological order. As soon as you get here, they're gonna have the most recent ones up on the top. So if you're looking at a chart and you see this one bar, one bar that is just super long, maybe it went up for a reverse split, maybe it went down for a forward split. If you see one huge bar that just looks ridiculous, don't think it was a run. Don't think you missed a surge. Run over here and see if that ticker is here. Maybe it just went through a split. That's all that is about. So that is what had this company running today was the news of it coming back on the market. And she did a lot more than 120% gains today, folks. That's just where she ended. Let me show you. This is ticker DBMM, and we're doing our charting on TOS, the free trading platform that TD Ameritrade gives you just for signing up for their free trading account. Keep your account open. You can use Thinkorswim anytime you like. So this is a six month, four hour chart for DBMM. We got a low bubble back here in the plains of triple zero four and a high bubble today of just over three cents, 0 0.0315.
Now, I have no clue when they got their skull and crossbones. For all I know, they could have had one here and lost it and came back on the market because I can find no catalyst for this run. I looked. This is at the end of October. There was no news, no filings, no tweets for the whole month. Absolutely nothing is even close. So why this ran 2,900%, I do not know. I'm not kidding, folks. She started down here at 002 and went up to almost three cents. What a run, and I have no clue why it happened. She fell about 50% and then dribbled down another 10% and then took another pop, and it was a fantastic day. All of our technicals are screaming right now. Lots of volume. 20 day, one hour view. Exactly what we were thinking we were going to see. Hot, hot, and more hot. All of our technicals are on fire and pushing to the moon. You can see all the volume. Look at that. Volume has been climbing all day long, as has the price. Five day, five minute. Whoa, that's sad. This is an OTC stock. We cannot trade pre-market, after-market hours. Now, you can trade the major exchanges pre-market, after-market. You don't need any special permission or qualifications. All you got to do is remember to put the EXT in your order. Day plus extension. Good till canceled plus extension. Outside of that, you can trade, but not on the OTC. So, this huge gain that went from uh, just over one cents up to almost three cents, we could not grab. But, she did open up with a fall. She came down here to one and three quarter cents and jumped back up here to almost three cents. That's where we would have made our money. She fell back 50% and then started to climb again. And at the very end of the day, she hit a high bubble. And no, I don't believe that's a fall. I call that a pullback. A pullback is when everybody sees the ceiling. Whoa, 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 slow down, slow down. They see that bubble and everybody stops and takes just a step back, takes another look and they start to go again. So this just looks like a pullback. You can see she has bounced off of that 20 a couple of times. She puts that, that wick right below the 20 and comes back up. We got our wick coming down below the 20 right now. Our technicals, well, they all show she is falling right now. That's what they're showing, the very tips right now. Uh, uh, otherwise, they show that she was pretty much starting to level out. So you might want to look for this to go sideways. But hey, she just got back on the market. There was a big party. Everybody's got a hangover. They may not want to get up tomorrow. But I would keep my eye on her. You can never tell how much excitement there is wrapped around a company or how long they've been gone. So keep DBMM on your list. And speaking of list, check those lists out every morning. Caveat emptar, tier changes, and splits, just so you can keep up with what's going on. Now, here's a stock we did talk about yesterday, but I want to highlight it again today. This is ticker STRY, Starry Group Holdings. Now, this pretty much fits into the mold of the type of stocks we're looking at, a real small catalyst. Now, I'm not going to say this is a dime a dozen catalyst, but it's one of those obscure catalysts because it isn't good news. You don't expect a stock to run on bad news. And as you can see here, they got delisted off of the New York Stock Exchange, kicked off demoted, thrown down here to the OTC market. And when they arrived, we threw a hell of a party for them. Yesterday, she ran up to her high of 1,750% gains for being kicked off of the major exchanges. And then she started to fall and tumble. And when the day ended, we were left with 582% gains. Now, I'd like to say she ran like that today, but she didn't. But she did give us some more gains. She finished today at two cents with about 33% gains. But these are the sort of stocks we're looking at. The ones you don't expect to run over these little catalysts or obscure catalysts. Let's go take a look at this chart. So let's have some fun. Let's play a game, hide and seek. This is sticker STRY, six month, four hour chart. We got a high bubble five months ago of $10.90. And three days ago, we had a low of triple zero two. 
folks, I can't calculate it in my mind, but I am guaranteeing you that is more than a million percent down from the high bubble to the low bubble. But what's even more impressive is in the last three days, we have had a 10,000% gain on this stock. Three days ago, she was at triple zero two. Today, she's at two cents. That is 10,000% gains. Now, let's zoom in here where all this volume is. We're going to come right in on there. And hiding in here, as a matter of fact, I'm going to give you a clue. It's right here. This is today. This is yesterday. In yesterday's chart, there is 1,750% gains. Can you see it? <laughs> no, I can't either. Like I said, hide and seek. Let's look at our 20-day, one-hour view. It's got to be more apparent. We'll even zoom in. All right, here's today. There is yesterday. In that little chart right there is our 1,750% gain. You would think it would be easy to see, right? But it's not. It is literally hiding in there. Let's look at our five day, five minute. All right, it's here folks, right here. Can you see it now? <laughs> you still can't see it. And it's staring you dead in the face. It's right there. How can you not see that? Let's zoom in. I'll show you how that played out folks. Our low down here is double zero two right there. And up here, we are at about three and a half cents. If you take off all those zeros, you are going from two to 35. Well, two into 35 is 17 and a half times, 1,750% gains. Unbelievable that there was that much gains in that little tiny section of the chart. That's what happens when you're next to the one. When you're close to the one, it doesn't take very much move to get huge gains. Now, she did have another little run today. She got herself 30 cents, but she's basically been fighting the 200-day SMA all day. She isn't going anywhere. And I don't expect her to do anything more, though I didn't really expect her to do that on bad news. But these are the sort of catalysts that are getting big reactions. Watch for these. They're going to pay off sooner or later. Just for sits and giggles, let's take a look at ticker SITS SITS. This is Southern ITS International. She too is running on one of those dime a dozen catalysts. She had a filing come out yesterday that was very obscure. This is it, supplemental information, current report. Looks like all the ones underneath it. Now, this doesn't draw a lot of attention, but I've got a habit of reading current information. I do open up these current filings. I'll click them open and I'll look. And if something jumps out at me, fantastic. But if not, I'm out of there. But you don't know until you click it. Well, this is what I saw when I clicked it. Southern ITS International is no longer deemed to be a shell company. That is relevant information. Prior to the acquisition of Shai Bu, the company was deemed a shell company. And that's really all I know. I don't know anything about the acquisition. I don't know anything about Shai Bu. I don't even know anything about SITS. I was only looking for the obscure catalyst. And that's where it is. Now, the funny thing is, she is still listed as a shell company. It hasn't come down yet. When these disappear, you normally do see a bounce on the charts. People are excited to see that disappear. Will it bounce again when it disappears? Or is this going to be considered built in? Not sure. She finished the day just a little over five cents with 92% gains. She's on the pink tier in current, and she's got those two green ticks. So everything looks great. Let's go take a look at that chart. SITS, ticker S-I-T-S. This is a six month, four hour chart. Didn't you watch The Wire? Come on. She has been falling all this time, getting more and more distance between her and that 200. She hit a low bubble here about 10 days ago of around two cents, started pushing off of that. Once she got over the 50 day SMA here, she took off, hit a high of 9.4 cents and then started the drop. And you can see when all the power came into the picture, when our PPO crosses that pink line right there, that is when you're seeing your nine day SMA cross the 50. And how do we know it's power? Well, look, look at the size of the price bars here. They're little baby teeth. And then once you get over the 50, you got these big dragon teeth. That's what I'm talking about, power. We got all the volume coming in right now and our technicals are showing some strength right now, but they are a bit mixed. Let's take a look at our 20 day, one hour view. So 
We had that low bubble here. She took quite a few days just to get up to the 50, rolling up underneath it, and then she got that power and jumped over it. See down here, our PPO crosses over the 50. This is a sign that we know it's gonna start to grow. And look, boom, big bars come into the picture again. Hit that high, has been rolling down for a few days, and now we're starting to climb again. And woohoo, what a beautiful pattern right here, folks. This is why I have my PPO on the top and my ADX on the bottom. I look for this pattern right here. When you see these two lines, the blue coming down and the red coming up, see how close they got? The price is falling, guaranteed. After they start to push away from each other and spread apart, the price rises. So I love to use this as my entry and exit point. It gives me an idea of when things are going to change. Let's take a look at our five day, five minute. So four days ago, we had that high of 9.4 cents. We hit a low yesterday of about 2.6 cents. And today we're bouncing up. And again, see how small the price bars are until she got near the 50. See how big they get. She's gotten on top of the 50. She is resting up there. And now she's wrestling with the 200, which has just come onto the board. And normally when I see a new SMA come onto the board, I normally see the price go to it. Sometimes it'll stick. Sometimes it'll jump back, but it normally touches it. And that's exactly what we see here. And she's falling down. She's actually bouncing off of the 50 and rising right now. Our technicals, well, we got a little bit of spread on these two here. We got a turnaround on our MACD trying to cross over and our RSI is climbing. So there is a possibility she could continue to move on this little tiny catalyst. Once that shell disappears, you might see another bounce. There may be people who didn't know that this came out in a filing and they're not aware of it. Even though they had news presses about it too, back in October, they were talking about it. So sets. Just another one of those prime examples of how a dime a dozen catalyst can make a stock run. This last ticker we're taking a look at is another prime example of stocks running on obscure catalysts. This is ticker ATNF 180 Life Sciences Core. This is a penny stock on the NASDAQ. On Friday, they enacted a 1 in 20 reverse split. That means they were going to kick the price up 20 times, but they were going to give you one share for every 20 shares you had. So you were going to be left with a lot less shares. Well, this is normally bad news because what happens is people wake up in the morning and they see all their shares are gone and they're upset and they normally bail from the company. They will even sell at a loss just to spite the company and you will see the price tumble. Well, if the company has value, if their fundamentals look good, this becomes a buying opportunity. And you can see the price start to rise off of that. And this stock was doing that sort of situation. Now you can see she finished the day at $2.23 with 15, almost 16% down. But she was up today, as was her warrant, ATNFW. Just add a W to the end of the ticker. You can normally find the warrants. The warrants are a lot cheaper and they move a lot further and faster with less volume. Very tempting to play warrants. Now this $2.23, this is why they did the reverse split. When a stock on the NASDAQ or New York Stock Exchange falls under a dollar, that is a minimum bid price requirement to be on the major exchange. If you're under a dollar for too long, they will kick you off down to the OTC, just like that first stock we looked at. And this company didn't want that to happen, so that's why they did a reverse split. So they probably had value. Matter of fact, let's just take a quick look at their financials, see what sort of money. Well, they got nothing going on over here. We can't see anything. Though we do see that she's got a super duper small float. Wow, only uh, two million in the outstanding, so it's gonna be less than two million in the float. So that's why this stock was running. Let's go take a look at that chart. We are now looking at a six month, four hour chart for ATNF. Six months ago, this NASDAQ stock was at $2.61, and it seems like right about the beginning of August, she went under a dollar right here. And she's been falling under a dollar all of this time until she hit a low of 16 cents. She had been under a dollar for too long. She was on the edge of being pushed over onto the OTC. She had to do that reverse split to save her hide. 
And as you see, she had that one big jump from the reverse split, had some push once the bell rang, fell, had another jump today, and it looks like after market, she's falling some more. Lots of volume today. Let's look at that five day, five minute. That's where everything's really happening. There was nothing happening before. Now I'm gonna zoom in on this. That first bar right there, that is the reverse split. Nobody's bidding, that is just the price being pushed up here from about a quarter up to $5. $5 roughly, that is your 20 times the price. All the rest of this is bid activity. So she came on at $5 hit a high here of $7.06. She did that at uh, 9.45, 15 minutes after the bell. After that, it was done. She started falling hard, 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 and everybody expected this. She went way underneath her 50% mark, and she kept falling after market, kept falling pre-market, and was still falling today, and then out of the clear blue, she decides to jump. There's no new news, there's no new filings, there are no tweets, it just became a good buy. I don't mean good buy, I mean a good buy, a good purchase. So this took off here at about uh, 10.30 this morning, starting off at about $2.50 and went all the way up to $6.87. You're looking at 280%, uh, 250% gains right there. She held that for a while. You had time to think about getting out. And once she broke this 20, that should have been your sign to get out, folks. Once she broke that 20, you had one, two, three, four down bars lower highs, lower high, lower high. Get out, get out. This has been, been the spot right there. Once she hit her 50, she struggled to stay on the 50. That was a good sign, but wow, look at the drop. Fell so fast, she just plummeted through that 200 and she has been falling and she is straight lining very hard right now. No, I'm really not expecting anything more out of this, but this is what happens. You get a run and you get a fall and if the company has value, you'll get another bounce. But I think a lot of people just got greedy here and took their gains and she's not showing her true value. Now, since we're here, Let's just take a look at that warrant because I believe the warrant had a better day than the stock did. So the stock had about 250% gains at her high. So this is what happened. The warrant does not get affected with a stock split. You don't have to worry about anything changing over here. So when the split happened over here, nothing really happened. You see, there was a little dip yesterday, but that's all. But today, once it started moving, actually this started running even before the stock did. This started down here at uh, about two and a quarter cents and it went up to 15 cents. Oh my God, one, two, three, four, five, six, 600 percent gains folks on the warrant. You could have got into this at two cents down here. You could have got in at five cents right there. She went all the way to 15 cents, 600 percent gains on a penny stock. Forget the stock. Look at the warrant. She was up there for a while. Each one of these bars is five minutes. She was bouncing around and once you have a lower high, a lower high, you need to think about getting out now because the next lower high could be really falling fast and you could be underneath your nine before you know it. And when you're underneath the nine, there is no climbing whatsoever. It is falling, falling, falling. So even this looks like it's done. However, I see we got our 200 day SMA that just came in there and look, the price jumped right to the 200, right? That's what I said. As soon as they come on the board, the price wants to go to it. And this could change the game. I see we've got some strength in our technicals here. Our PPO is about ready to do a push up and cross over onto that pink. Our MACD is trying to get on top of the signal line. RSI is over 55 at 56. I keep my eye on the warrant. Forget the stock. Watch the warrant tomorrow, ATNFW. I think that covers it, folks. <laughs> well, if you're disappointed that I didn't give you some runners you can play tomorrow, I think you're missing the point. I'm showing you how to find runners every day. I'm showing you stocks that are running on these dime a dozen catalysts every single day, and I'm showing you where to find them. You can go over to the lists on the OTC market. Check out the caveat emptor before the bell rings. Check out tier changes. Look for the stocks that are in the dark zone coming into the light. These are the ones that make us the most money. You've got lots of little reasons that stocks are running every single day with a little bit of due diligence in the right 
right places you can be cashing in, folks. Remember, the more you know, the more you can grow. See ya.